All right, my beautiful friends, it is Friday, May 31st, 2019, and we, we have to talk. Um, right now, stocks are under pressure, surprisingly not as much as you would expect. Earlier, stocks were down over 300 points, referring to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As I am doing this, we're down about 260. One may ask, rightly so, why stocks are not down harder uh, in this environment. And this is what it comes down to right here. Um, let me explain this to you. I think in a way that very few people um, are either explaining or uh, it's confusing. I get it. The bond market is confusing. So what, what do we have right now? We have a yield curve, which is about halfway or more so inverted. Now I want to show this to you real quick so you can get a visual and then I'm going to cover it with you to, so you can make sense of it. So let's look at the uh, the yield curve. All right, uh, the one month as you can see 2.36. Now let's go down the line here. Um, when we go to the two year it drops off to 1.9, three year 1.94, five year 1.96. You, you see this? Now let's go down here. Now it's starting to curve up there at the 7 and then the 10, 2.17, and the 30 at 2.6. Okay, so the curve looks kind of like that, okay? Not a healthy looking yield curve. What do we know? Again, it always comes down to what we know. Repeatedly, we've heard from the president that he wants a rate cut. As a matter of fact, he said, if we get a rate cut, we win the trade war. His words. No. I don't know how he's equating one with the other, but I'm going to explain to you what he's hoping will happen and will happen if we get a rate cut and why stocks are not getting pounded even worse. Again, it's the hope of a rate cut. It's the hope that the middle class by a rate cut will be forced directly once again to continue to subsidize the stock market. It's a very, very simple mechanism. When rates are artificially suppressed, those people out here who have interest earning accounts are, are being robbed blind. Um, they're being paid interest less than the actual rate of inflation. This opens a doorway for cash to move into the stock market, hyperinflating it, creating epic distortions. That's how it works. You're not supposed to know that, but that is how it works. Kind of like the tariffs. No one explains to you how they work. Um, it, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, let's just cover that real quick because again, we got this um, more tariffs across the board with regard to Mexico, for which they're not going to pay. China is not paying right now, and our president won't explain this to anybody. It's the importers and exporters who pay the tariff, and they pass that cost on to you and me and everybody else. That's the way it works. Why do you think that um, prices on imported products are expected to skyrocket? Because Mexico and China are going to pay the tariffs? I mean, you don't even have to have one freaking functioning brain cell to understand this. And then we get the other nonsense lie how we're taking in all this money from China uh, with regard to the tariffs. It's just a, it's a, it's such a lie. The trade gap is costing us like three hundred billion dollars. So the president can spin it any any way he wants to. It's not true. He can't tell you the truth. He can't. It's impossible. It's not just him. It's every single politician. They must lie to you. They have to. Uh, to keep the illusion real. So going back to the stock market here and why the why stocks are not down more. Maybe we'll end the day down a thousand points. I doubt it. The market is pricing in a rate cut. So we understand the yield curve looks like this. If the president gets his wish and we get a rate cut, what would that mean? How does it affect the yield curve? It's very, very simple. Very simple. Sit down, take a deep breath. Um, a rate cut would force the yields at the lower end, the, the short end of the curve, to come down. 
You understand? So what that would do is create a more normal yield curve with a normal slope. This alone is enough to push stocks higher. It also a rate cut would also prove to the markets that the Federal Reserve and the President have the back of the stock market. Big boost to the stock market. We are in an election cycle. The middle class will be forced to subsidize the stock market. You will be forced to subsidize the stock market. It's the truth. So a rate cut is a lock. It's a, uh, it's a virtual guarantee at this point. The president understands the yield curve. He knows what's going on with it. He realizes it's partially inverted. Uh, and he also knows that a rate cut will take that sh the short end of the curve and push, push those yields lower, hence a normal curve or a more normal curve. Very stock market positive. This is why stocks are not down harder right now. I hope this makes sense to you because it's all very simple. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. That's it. It, it could not be more easy to understand. And that's why we're seeing the action in the market right now. That's why stocks are not down harder right now. Um, and we're going to watch how this plays out moving forward. If, 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 if in the event that I am wrong, that we are not going to get a rate cut here uh, soon, the stocks are going to get walloped. The stock market is going to take a hit like you can't believe. Again, why? We're getting a collision like I covered recently. Coffin Corner. Check my video archives just from a few days ago where I explained to you we have two opposing forces. We have the bond market and the stock market, which are slamming into each other right now. Generally, when rates become suppressed, stocks go higher. This is the, the, the basis behind quantitative easing. However... Like anything else, there's a breaking point, and it seems to be where the 10-year yield is sitting right now. This will not be allowed to stand. So, I don't know another way to say it, but uh, a rate cut is being priced in this market. If we don't get it, we're in a lot of trouble. Well, the stock market is, not me. I'm going to short it. I'm going to trade it. Like I've already been in one trade this morning. Uh, was positive. I'll probably enter another one before the end of the day. I don't care at all which way the stock market goes at, at, at all. It doesn't matter to me. But for people that only make money when stocks go up, it does matter. It matters to them. That's where their nest egg is for the most people part, and they're going to get wiped out. So um, this is why, again, um, I'm trying to explain to you that we got to, the president understands, at least I would like to believe, he must know how the yield curve is affecting the markets right now. This is why he's calling for rate cut. It's, again, it's a propping up mechanism that forces the middle class to subsidize the stock market. That's the truth. And there's no other way to rationalize it. I'm sure that some people out here can twist it, but th these are the facts, okay? I know these markets really well. Uh, I know how they work. I've been explaining this to you for years, and for the most part, Sure, I do have my share of wrong calls, but my big calls for the most part are right. And it's, it's hard for anyone to argue that that's not true. So this is a big call, I think, on my part. Why we're going to get a rate cut? Why it's being priced into the market? Why the president wants it? He understands the curve. He wants to bring the short end of the curve down because the long end of the curve now is also coming down. They're going to make every effort they, President included, to stop the long end of the curve from inverting the short end. And this is why a rate cut is being priced in and why stocks are not getting hurt more than they are right now. I really hope this makes sense to you. I don't know, another person out here is probably explaining it to you like I just did. And if you think this video is important, people need to hear this. Please share it. Um, a thumbs up is always a positive for me. And if you do that, I, I, I promise to play more songs for you in the future. All right, uh, and I'll break out another guitar or two that you have not seen before. I got a few of them.
this guy really does love you um, and I'll see you at the end of the day